Hey guys, so in this video I just want to show you how I apply my foundation or base makeup using the Sigma uh, Flat Top F80 Kabuki brush and um, the, pre the Sigma Precision brushes. Um, quite a while back I've had a few requests asking me to show how I use the F80 brush to apply my liquid foundation and more recently ish um, after I did the uh, review video on the Sigma precision brushes a couple of you asked me to demonstrate how I apply my concealer with those so I thought I'd just combine the two videos together um, just to let you know I haven't had any form of makeup training or beauty training whatsoever so what I'm showing you is just how I apply my makeup and um, what works for me so um, if it doesn't seem like the best way to be applying makeup like I said it's just what works for me so hopefully you can just take away a few tips on how to use the brushes um, and also this is my first demonstrative video so um, please bear with me and I'm just going to get on straight onto it then. Okay, so just to let you know, I've put my skincare on. I've got my, I put my moisturising cream on and I've let that sink in for a good few minutes. And then um, I've applied my primer about five minutes ago. And at the moment I'm using the Sana Pore Putty Makeup Base. And this primer is okay. It's similar to the uh, Gosh um, Clear Primer. But I still prefer the Rimmel one. But um, like I said, I applied this five minutes ago because um, I like it to sink in before I start to use my foundation and my concealer, etc. So um, I'm just going to get on with it now. Uh, firstly, I do I conceal my eyes. I put concealer on my eyes, and um, I've grabbed my Precision Tapered P86 brush. And for I'm going to put my corrector on first, and I'm at the moment I'm using the Bobbi Brown corrector in light peach. So what I do is I take a small amount on the tip of the brush, just a small amount because you could always build up, and then um, I dot it onto where I need corrector. So. I'm usually just at the bottom here and maybe sometimes on the outside. Sorry, I don't actually have a desk mirror here, so I'm just using one of these. And um, you can just dot this, tap it in to blend the corrector in. If you have a lot of excess, then you can use your finger to um, blend the corrector in. But I find that with this brush, you don't actually have to do that most times. So, yeah. So just line it and tap it to blend along where your darkest parts are. Okay, so once I've done that, I give it a quick wipe down with a clean dry tissue because I reused this for my um, concealer. Then um, grab my under eye concealer and I just grabbed the uh, Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer and this is in Sand. Which one is it? This one here. And um, like the corrector, I just take a small amount at the tip of the brush and then I dab it on using the same motion but this time I cover the whole on the eye area and then use that to blend just lower bit up to here 
because then I, when I use my foundation I overlap it just here to blend it all in and slowly build up because you don't want to use too much concealer can end up caking so um, the one thing I love about this tapered one is that you can be very precise at the tip then use the side of it to blend your concealer in like I said any excess you can just use your finger to dab it in okay once I've done my concealer I again wipe this down on a clean dry tissue because um, I'm going to use this brush again a bit later right once I've done that I go on to my foundation and um, I've just grabbed the NARS what's this one this is a sheer glow foundation and this one's in light for Duville there you go and um, I'm waiting to get a pump for this but um, I hate pouring it so just tap a small amount onto I use just a lid this is a um, my origins mural foundation lid that I finished and so I'm just using this but any flat surface would do right then I take my PAT flat top kabuki and I just tap it just gonna tap it a small amount onto the brush and um, I put it where I need the most coverage first and then I stipple it um, everywhere else so it goes onto my cheeks first because I have a lot of scarring there and then I tap everywhere else grab a bit more and on the other side avoiding the eye area for now sorry about the rattling, it's all my bracelets and just dab a bit more on where I need a bit more coverage And when I've got foundation everywhere I want it and most of it is blended in where my cheeks is I go back to areas where I know I'm going to need extra buffing dry areas just to um, blend the foundation and it's usually around my lips the side of my nose and on my forehead and even sometimes on top of my brows and I take that opportunity to just dab the brush over my lids as well because at the moment I've hardly got anything on I don't actually have, have any um, foundation on there now so just to give the lid some um, colour and make sure you get it into your hairline and I usually like to put some on my ear and also move the brush to behind my ear because I've got short hair so you end up seeing what's behind here so if you tie if you tie your hair up and everything then don't forget to dab to put some color behind your ear as well 
and any excess on the lid I just take down onto my neck oh, let me put a little bit more And again, for the tiny excess I have on the brush, I just take that and stipple it around my eye here just to blend the foundation in with the concealer at the edge so it doesn't look too off. So, yeah. Okay, so once I've done that, I retake the P86 and I am use, going to use. A concealer this is the Mac studio finish concealer in NC 20 and um, like before when putting my under eye concealer on I just take a small amount onto the tip of the brush because I'm just gonna conceal just where all my um, really dark scars are so here and I've got uh, quite a few dots around my cheeks so what I do is just lightly tap it into each area that I need. I'll try and do it here actually. And um, use a small amount, you can always build up when, as you, when and as you need it. And then um, for larger areas, I dot it where I need it, then again use the larger side of the white part at the tapered end to blend it in. And apologise for the lighting again, it's really bad, just looking on camera it's really bad but you get the gist of it really and um, any extra concealer you might need around the red bits and I usually just get a bit of red around the nose area here right Okay, this can actually, you can put aside now, you won't need that again. And once I've done that, um, I take the P80 flat top precision brush and I, I use the uh, MAC uh, Prep and Prime and it's the uh, transparent white powder. And I use this, I just tap a bit in then tap off the excess and use that just to set my concealer and I also pull out the top as well because I find that this holds my eye makeup in place and I prefer this powder over some of the others including the one that comes in the Bobbi Brown so I find that this powder is really fine and it doesn't settle into my lines or anything like that so that's my base makeup done okay so after I've applied all my base makeup, you can just go ahead and finish off the rest of your makeup. Um, and that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said before, I hope you can take a few tips away from it. Um, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.